Okay, so uh, this video is going to be about uh, prayer, how to pray properly. So uh, effective and organized prayer. Um, so I'm not saying you should pray the same every single time. Um, you know, you should let the Holy Spirit tell you what to pray about. But um, if you're like me and you have a hard time focusing on things, it, it is probably a good idea to have a list of things to pray about. So, and especially so you, you, you don't you don't forget. So you have this list and uh, you want to keep it organized. And, you know, I'd say maybe like have a system for it, like make it systematic. So well, so what I heard was like it was really cool a long time ago was something called uh, the joy system. So joy, J-O-Y. So J is for Jesus. O is for others. And Y is for yourself. So you praise Jesus. You pray for others and then you pray for yourself. And I think that's a great order. In fact, that's not just for praying. That's for, I think, uh, you apply that to your life. It'll work out great. You put Jesus first, then others, then yourself. Um, unfortunately, you know, in practical life, it, it doesn't doesn't always work out like that. Uh, unfortunately, I, I think the, the why ends up being uh, first uh, a lot of times, unfortunately. Um, so um, anyway, so like, like for... for, for my prayers, I, I think a, a really good thing that I heard and I do as well is that the first thing you do is you you repent. So in, even before you start praying about other things, is an introduction to prayer, like the intro, is to repent because before you pray, you want to make sure you're uh, you have a good relationship with the Lord. You know, you're like you know a clean slate. So whatever sin in your life that you have or anything like that, you want to kind of get that out of the way. So you get rid of that first. You pray about it. It's under the blood. It's gone. And then you move on and then you can pray uh, with a clear mind and conscience. So, and then, you know, you praise Jesus because th that's important. So there's that. And then, you know, pray for others. Now, others, I'm going to, uh, I'd actually break that up into like two categories because you have like your friends and family, your relatives, your immediate family. And then, you know, they might have whatever needs, physical needs, spiritual needs, emotional needs. And they, they can be going through all sorts of things. And these are people that you know, so you're more familiar with their situation. And I think it's easier to, to pray for people that, that you do actually know. I think it's harder to pray when when you uh, when you don't know these people. You know, sometimes there's prayer requests in church, and it's someone you don't even know who this person is. And still, you should you should pray as best as you can for these people. So that's um, so yeah, you pray for others. So there's, there's like the close people, you know, the, the, the local church and, you know, people that you are aware of that those are the others, but then there's also the second category and that's praying for global issues. Uh, and that's where, that's what I often forget to pray about, but you know, you could pray, you know, like the war in Ukraine, that's a big deal. Uh, back when COVID was a thing, you know, people were praying for COVID, uh, and then there's a war in Israel now, uh, you pray for the leadership that they don't, make dumb decisions, you know, they make good decisions, you know, that God watches over the situation. They don't make things worse. Um, so, you know, like, so the, those are good things to, 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 to pray about, you know, things on a global scale, uh, you know, people's souls, um, uh, you know, uh, stuff like that. So, uh, so I, so I separate others into like two categories and, you know, if, if you, especially, especially if you write these things down, it really helps because you can keep, keep it in your memory. And then, and then finally, pray about yourself. And then I'm, I'm sure, you know, I've, you, you, you have things to pray about for yourself. You know yourself better than anyone. And uh, you want to, you know, I pray for wisdom and that, you know, God guides me in the right direction. Honestly, I think that's the most important is that wisdom, spiritual eyesight. But also, you know, you, you might have uh, legitimate needs. Like, I mean, I focus on things that are, you know, kind of like, like really important, like, um, like work and, you know, ministry. Uh, but, you know, uh, you might have other needs that are like really serious. You might be, you know, uh, uh, have health issues, you know, that, that, that's a big deal. Uh, spiritual issues, emotional issues, that depression is a big deal these days. And lots of Christians have it as well. And those, those, those aren't, you know, uh, you do want God to set you on the right track. So uh, anyway, this is just another short video. Um, I'll see you next time. I'll try to post daily if possible. So, uh, I just, I pray this channel keeps growing. I've, it's been almost two years. Um, but I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to keep trying. 
uh, and keep, and keep praying about it. Maybe one day it'll blow up. So see you next time.